Hey guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here. We are back with more LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. That's right, we're in that home stretch wrapping up all those achievements. This happens to be the Disco King achievement. We gotta set off all three discos and get our oomphs, oomphs, oomphs. Oh, that's right. A little dis different than the old uh, techno panels, but still, we gotta get our oomphs, oomphs on. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pay attention to the two levels, 2-2 two, two, and 6-2. That's gonna be Discovery on Kaminu and the Great Pit of Carcoon. Uh, we're going to actually start off by going to Discovery on Kaminu, which is part of the Attack of the Clones here. We're going to choose Free Play. Who you choose is not that important. It's just a matter of getting to the actual destination. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to the back left corner here and manipulating some bricks that actually p -p -p power up that bridge. So we're going to be able to go ahead and enter inside. Now, we got a nice little tour guide here. He's going to tell us, uh, if you look over to your left here, you're going to see a nice... No, I'm just kidding. He's not really our tour guide. In that sense, he is guiding us to where we need to go, though. So uh, Nothing else is important. We're just going to go ahead and run directly there. This is not footage we used from a previous game. It's actually specifically made for this. So we're going to follow him, and we got to run around a circle here. It's kind of a, a squircle, because you can see it's a circle, but it's a square, too. A, a squircle? That's a new one, huh? Brian is um, number 796. I think, is it maybe 797? Either way, we'll go ahead and watch that little computer pop up. We'll use the foils to go ahead and pop the dome on it. And it's going to go ahead and give us access to this far left corner here. Now, it's it's a race. I hope I win. And I lost. He actually forfeited right at the last minute. Look at that. With twins, Basil. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. Now, as soon as we hack that panel with a beep boop, bop, boop, beep boop, we're going to go ahead and follow him into the far right side here. Uh, we got a little battle going on. We actually uh, cue him to run out. And uh, now we got to take on these bad guys. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure if we needed to come in here and take out all those little drones or not. I feel like we might have been able to sneak over to the left side here, but I do believe that this door was not accessible until now, too. I, I don't know. Either way, the door on the left is the one we want. We're going to go ahead and take down those two cannons that are preventing our easy access of the hackage. And once we get in here by using a stormtrooper or, in our case, Veda, We'll go ahead and activate the old panel here. So as soon as we light up all of these circles on the ground, it's another squircle. This one's a little bit different. This is kind of like playing blackout and bingo. Oh, bingo! Once you got it, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, disco one, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, disco one. Now, I do want to remind you, we do have some quick links down below in the video description to get you to all three of the different disco pads. That's right. If you notice at the very beginning there, you had to set off all three discos. Now, the next one, I would bet money. If you've played this game, you have got this next disco because you actually have to complete it in order to advance in the story and also in the free play. So if you've played through the majority of this game, you have likely got this next disco, which again, I wanna remind you, we do have quick links down below in the video description to get to that third one. But we're gonna go ahead and head over to 6-6, six, six, which is Return of the Jedi, Great Pit of Carcoon, and choose free play. And of course, uh, again, the characters you choose aren't as important as the uh, actual tasks at hand here. We're going to go ahead and assemble some bricks on the far right side, which gives us the first switch. We're going to pull that, and look at that. We've got a nice little accordion door there that flips over. It's actually more of a bridge. I shouldn't call it a door. And then we're just going to run through. We're trying to speed run this. Now, in all reality, it still takes me like six and a half, seven minutes to get through this level. So not really a speed run per se, but it is pretty much as fast as I can get through. So again, you're going to have to go ahead and manipulate some bricks, flip both switches, and it gives us the bridge to cross. Now we have to fight a few bad guys here and we'll go ahead and I recommend trying to deflect those blaster bolts because uh, they just seem to be a little bit easier when you get up close and personal to them it's not as good but I also recommend switching to a character to get your pew pew because um, that will also do do the job <laughs> all right we've got a little uh we've got twins triplets we got all sorts of Got a lot of a lot of stuff happening here. I can't even tell who's who for a second. We got that done did though. We can go ahead and advance to the next little ship floating over here. Take out a couple more bad guys and switch to somebody with the fools. So we can go ahead and manipulate this panel in the back here, which will give us a nice little access point to go ahead and jump across. We're gonna use the jetpack Rooney though, because well, look at that. I could <laughs> Vader fell on his own. Now, I have to be honest, I, I struggle with this a little bit. So you guys may actually be able to improve the speed run. A wee bit because, uh, well, I guess it's not that bad. You come to the end and you flip it, and then uh, you go ahead and use the the old jetpack to get out there. Make it. Oh no, such luck. All right. So, like I said, I do struggle a wee bit. 
I do think I turn around. No, yep, yep. Fourth time's the charm. Fourth, fourth time's the charm. All right, I think it is. I think it is. We got this. Yeah, boy. So we go ahead and make it over here. Now we're going to get attacked from the top by a bunch of bad guys, and the timing on them is terrible. Uh, they're spread out just enough that you really don't have time to get this panel all the way. Oh, snap, I did. That's actually a really tough one to get, though. Uh, in all my story and free play attempts, uh, I ended up fighting this battle right here. You can see I'll take both of these guys out, and as soon as I do, I return, and more guys drop in and shoot me before I can go ahead and get it all the way completed. So uh, I do finally get it all the way up there. Once it's up there, you got to spin the wheel around, and you got to match the colors. Uh, on the right to the ones on the left, which is pretty simple. The bottom one is blue. We'll flip that around uh, with the pressure. Actually, no, it's a push switch. And then, of course, use the force on the other one to make it yellow. Was it, was it yellow? Boy, that happened so fast. Now, inside, you can actually turf one of the old bomb, 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 bombs and take down that wall instead of smashing and building up the turret that would normally be used to do that. Now, inside the room here, we got to go ahead and destroy everything. So go ahead and make it rain bombs and, of course, build up the stuff's when it is ready. Now at the very end here on the left, we've got a nice little panel that's gonna be needing to be hacked, but we're not there yet. We actually have to get it power or pumped up as we like to say. So we'll go ahead and uh, use the force over here. It was definitely what we like to call a funny angle. I could not quite activate the old force. I kept grabbing my, my little buddy Wicket there. Sorry there, bud. All right, I think that's Wicket. I'm sure I'll hear about it if it's not, but either way, we go ahead and use the force on the left to go ahead and manipulate those bricks to stack them up, and look at that, we've got ourselves an elevator. Unfortunately, it goes up without us, but we'll go ahead and hop on, and up we go. All right, now in this next room, we're going to head over to the right, and guess what? You are officially in Discoville here. We're going to start manipulating the bricks on the left side of the wall. We're also going to go to the far end of the left and build up those bouncing bricks on the ground. Look at that, we've got one speaker to get our oots, oots on. Now we gotta destroy some stuff on the right. It actually does require a couple of ground pounds, or if you've got somebody with like the bomb, 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 bombs, so that'll work too. Of course, use the force to build up what looks like a croquet mallet with golf ball edges. It's really kind of creative, but uh, that'll be used here in a second. We'll hang that up on the uh, the newly found hangar that we just built from up top here. We'll push that other box down, which gives us some more bouncing bricks. And look at that, we have got our second speaker. That's right, we got surround sound. And we'll go ahead and lift the mallet up and ready, wait for it, out comes the disco board. So go ahead and get your bingo blackout yet again. Go ahead and step on each of the lit panels until the next one lights up, until there are no more. And that'll go ahead and give us one more chance to get our oots, oots, oots on. Now you can go ahead and advance. Now, like I said, you probably already did this one earlier because if you played the story or the free play, you've definitely done this. Look at that, we're all rocking out. We'll go ahead and just save and exit to make sure we get that included. Now we're gonna head back into the attack of the clones area. I believe it's called a mini cantina, but we'll sneak in here. And right over here by one of the tables is gonna be another golf ball. We'll go ahead and lift that up and ns, 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 disco king. Ns, ns, ns. All to the yeah. All, all to the yeah. Let's go. All right, so uh, all of those done did. We got that achievement. We are ready to roll on to the next one. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it maybe a wee bit helpful. I bet you the only one you needed was right there at the end. Hopefully you use the quick links if they if that was the only one. As for me though, that's gonna do it. As always, until next time. See ya.